For over the past five years, over 50,000 people gathered here in Chestnut Hill to whip up a few potions and to wave their wands at the Harry Potter Festival. But this document is a cease and desist from Warner Brothers to cut all ties to any Harry Potter festivities. As you can see, citizens of the city have much to say about this city's election. For Philly Cam Voices, I'm Daryl Matthews. The city is making changes unforeseen by most in the upcoming years. Philadelphia Gas Work right behind me has been approved to build a liquefied natural gas production facility. Although the concrete decision has been made by city council, residents close to the power plant aren't pleased. Police are searching for a suspect in connection to a robbery at this Citizens Bank branch in Chestnut Hill behind me. The man entered the bank at 11.30 a.m. with a semi-automatic weapon and left with an undisclosed amount of cash. Now the police and the FBI are asking for your help in identifying the man in the surveillance footage. Just 16 years ago, Concha Hawking was faced with many economic challenges. Now in 2018, it's been voted by Niche.com as the 21st best place for millennials to live. Approximately 20,000 homes are still without power here in Montgomery County as a result of Friday's Nor'easter. In 2016, the city had the second highest death rate of the country's 44th largest counties, exceeding only by the Allegheny County, where Pittsburgh is, and in Philadelphia, the northeast part of the city is bearing the brunt of the epidemic. This is a typical day in the showroom of one very unique seamstress and designer. Mercedes Colebrook has a special clientele, the growing Muslim community here in Philadelphia. I was just converted over into Islam and um, I pretty much didn't want to wear like your, um, your average uh, dresses. So the 29-year-old Germantown woman started adding a couple of unique touches to the traditional bias, from everything to embroidery to brocade and to color blocking, which is our specialty. We're going to definitely work. We're going to do a lot of business together. Definitely. And I look forward to it. All, all right. right. Thanks, all right. Frankie. Right. Her shop is called Couture Creations by Cthum, meaning lady with the rosy cheeks. Includes designs for headdresses, bias ove garments, and even coverings for the ladies' boxing matches. I have a big personality and decided that I wanted to be a partner with the community instead of just out to make money from them. I love the way she creates stuff. It's very hard. It was very hard to, you know, get in contact with her to get something, but finally I am because she's very high to me. But her creations, I think, are really different, and I really love them. Mercedes' clothes are in such high demand, she had to stop advertising temporarily. Although her business is overwhelmingly booming, she hopes overgarment designers like herself will become more mainstream on the runway. I'm hoping that, you know, we, we break down a few of those doors and barriers to where as though, you know, it's just looked at as a designer and your clothes are looked at first before, you know, your religious belief. In Germantown, Daryl Matthews, Philadelphia Neighborhoods on TV. The city is making changes unforeseen by most in the upcoming years. Philadelphia Gas Work right behind me has been approved to build a liquefied natural gas production facility. Although the concrete decision has been made by city council, residents close to the power plant aren't pleased. PGW is the largest city-owned gas utility in the country. As of yet, no set date for the project has come to surface, but mixed feelings have. I think it's unfortunate, though, that there are some, I think, negative side effects that they weren't accounting for. Obviously, it being close to a residential area is going to um, sort of crowd out some people, which obviously we don't want. Uh, and, and the fact that we might actually be bringing more smog into the city, making everything less green. Well, I think of the project in South Philly, I don't really see the issue with it. Um, especially if it's like tests being done where it won't affect the local community and it's good for the local, you know, economy, putting people in jobs and I don't see no issue with it. 350 Philadelphia strategist and member Miss Channon feels there are better solutions to improve the city. I think the mayor is implementing some good policies to uh, protect climate change, to protect people's health uh, by reducing pollution. But um, I think that he is pursuing, um, unfortunately, a kind of all of the above policy where he's promoting both renewable energy and giving his support to fossil fuel projects. And I feel like it's one step forward and one step back. On their website, PGW states that natural gas is a more greener and more efficient option in the home. We reached out to them for a comment, but no response. But it's also not going to succeed if we're serious about protecting a livable climate. If we do what we need to do to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, there can't be a market for this gas. So we need a different solution to help people pay their utility bills. While there's local and national debate 
a fueling mission is still in fight. Individuals choose alternatives to better the city's air. For Philly Camp Voices, I'm Daryl Matthews. The Mount Carmel Baptist Church in West Philadelphia plays host to the Overcame Foundation Dinner, where the community comes together for a greater good of the youth to pray, laugh, and learn about what the future has in store. No matter what it is right, that's going on right now in your lives, and you may feel like the world is against you, that day is just a sign of hope. Presented and produced by Leonard Chester and Jade Harper, having the motto change start with us, this young duo chooses to help the young underprivileged generation, not by telling them where to go in life, but by showing them there's more to existence than defeat and just to march forward. And to me, I march for it because my family, because my goddaughter, because my niece, because those, you know, who are younger look up to me. And I also march for it because people who don't have the opp same opportunities as me, you know, I really want to give them that opportunity, give them that hope or use my voice to help them. So that's really why I choose to march for it. I travel across the world, I travel across the country, I interview players for a living, I get paid. Not just a chow down on good food, the Overcame Foundation Dinner gives a chance for everyone in attendance to nourish on opportunities that most wouldn't have access to. This free benefit offers financial seminars, scholarships opportunity, poem performance, and keynote speakers, one such as Dr. Reverend Moore, the pastor of Mount Carmel. This evening, I believe that you have a host of information. Uh, the substance of the event, the, the nature and content of the presenters and facilitators, I felt that was just a really good idea and a good event for the, the millennial generation.